St. Swithin's Day to all our listeners. We're here live down at the parade where St. Swithin himself is set to make an appearance any minute now. Oh, I think I see him. Yes, there he is, riding merrily atop his rain cloud, throwing many barometers to the happy dancing children below. Just a reminder, because of... I guess there's no letter from Dad today because of the holiday. I hope he's doing okay. Come on! Give it back already! Stop saying that! All right, break it up, you two. Lil, what are you doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? I work here. I got a job getting rid of the rats. There's a lot of rats in here, Lamont. I'm not very good at it. These rats are pretty smart. This one stole a crystal that I found. No, I found it. Ugh. Will, can you talk to him or something? Listen, my friend here is not the sharpest tool in the shed. We're not in a shed. Point proven. Can you, you know, being the more intelligent creature, just give in and let him have his crystal? Hey, he gave it back! Thanks, Lil. Now, chew! Get out of here! Okay, jeez! I have to go to work anyways. No, not you! The rat! Can you tell Isla and Simon that I won't be able to meet up with them? I have to clear all these rats before this place opens tonight. You might as well take this crystal. I don't need luck. I need a foolproof way to get rid of these rats. There, Lil. Seamus McGoblin? What brings you and your family to the docks? Oh, we live here now. Things got a bit tight after the war started, so we had to relocate. It's not the prettiest or safest place to live. But... No but, this place is awful. Well, at least you're all together, right? Oh, not so. One of our boys, Teeny Tom McGoblin, was lagging behind when we fled, so we had to hurry along without him. He should be arriving in the sprawl any day now. If you're working the gate, would you mind not giving him too much trouble and let him in? Yeah, I'll have to wait and see how I feel. Okay, I guess that's as good as an answer as I'm gonna get. Mr. Fantastico! I haven't seen you around for a bit. 
my journey for the most fantastic hat took me to the countryside, where I was drafted into the war. Well, that sucks. But you're back now. Does that mean my dad is back too? Unfortunately, your father remains at the front lines. I, however, got sent home for wearing too many fantastic hats. Apparently, it was alerting the enemy to our presence. Well, I'm happy you're home, and that you got to try on some fantastic hats. But they were not fantastic enough. My journey, it continues. Also, your father gave me this letter to give to you. A letter from Dad! Dear Lil, thanks for your last letter. I really enjoyed reading it. Except that part when you told the really, really dirty joke. Where did you even hear a joke like that? You're 12! Is this how your friends talk? Because I don't think you should be hanging around with them if they know words like that. Regardless, I told your joke to the guys and they all loved it. But now I have a reputation as a funny guy and they all want me to tell more jokes like that. So before you dump those little monsters forever, get them to write down a few more jokes just like that one, will ya? This war is tough, but they say there will be a ceasefire on St. Swithin's Day. So that's something to look forward to. But what's really keeping me going through the darkest moments is the thought of getting back to you. I love you, Lil. Please write back soon. Love, Dad. I better write back to him. Hey, Mr. Capello, do you have a pen and paper on you? Fantastic or otherwise? Of course, child. Dad got a little mushy at the end of that last one. How should I respond? Hey, Mr. Capello, do you think you could mail this letter for me, fantastically or otherwise? Of course, child. I will search for a stamp for your letter that is so fantastic that it stops the postman in his tracks and makes him cry to the heavens, Wow! Now that is one fantastic stamp! Or, you know, whatever's the cheapest. Step right up, folks, and take your turn at being a winner. Find the queen and uncover a royal prize. How about you, young lady? Care to be a winner? Simon, it's me, Lil. Lamont says he's stuck at work and won't be able to meet up with you. Hey, Uncle Fredo, she's made me. What do I do? Just play it cool and act like you've never seen her before. Sorry, ma'am, who I'm gonna act like I've never seen before. Would you care to play a game that's almost guaranteed to make you a winner? Are you trying to con me, Simon? Uncle Fredo? Never admit you're running a con. I've got something from Garby for you, but I can't just give them to you. You'll have to play for them. Alright, what's the hustle? It's not a scam at all, ma'am. All you need to do is find the queen. She's one of the three cards you see in front of you. Just keep your eye on the prize. Where's the queen? Congratulations! You found the queen, you won the jackpot! You're making it too easy! Since I'm stuck here, could you be a pal and make sure Isla knows about Lamont not showing up? She's gonna be crushed.
Lil, it's good that you're here. Wait, tell me, are we having this conversation for the first time? Second, are we stuck in a loop? We are totally stuck in a time loop, and the only way for us to break out of it is if you tell me your deepest, darkest secret. Be serious. These are dark times. Ugh, fine. I don't mess with the chronometer after hours. I'm frightened enough of being sent back in time or forward in space or whatever, using it at the guard shed. I'm glad to hear it. The readings I've been receiving from the device have been outside of my comfort zone. Not to mention the fact that those mages seem hell-bent on manufacturing another one. What is with those mages? It seems like for every lovable stoner like Echo, there's three spooks like Tyronius these days. That's an extremely perceptive observation. You're working the night shift again tonight, correct? I'd like to requisition an upgrade for one of your tools. Which one would you like me to upgrade? It is done. Gee, thanks. That's awesome. I just hope it's not too little too late considering what we're up against. Okay, drama queen. Keep that plucky fighting spirit about you. You'll need it. You're proving my point. Goodbye, Lil. Goodbye, Dr. B. about you what are you doing in Ash's office I'm volunteering as her unpaid intern my mom said this will fast-track me to get into the youth politician training program for two-faced cutthroats and liars or the YPTPT FCL she says it'll help build character yikes I'm here because I'm supposed to tell you that Lamont won't be able to meet up later he's a uh, stuck at the office Oh, that hard-working lug. He'll be the perfect trophy husband for me. He's so distractingly handsome that it'll both impress and intimidate my opponents. Okay, well, uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you with that. Now that you mention it. Oh, crap. The YPTPT FCL does have an entrance exam that I could use your help with. And I've got something from Garby, if you do. Okay, what do I have to do? There are a couple of questions about current and historical affairs that I still need to answer. Here we go. What was the name of the late King Oswin's father? Okay, question two. What is the current name of the Goblin Ball Stadium? Great. Question three. The Crown Prince of Petrard, Phineas Pomp, is the son of... And last one. Mega Rock Superstar Vlad Extreme plays what kind of instrument? Okay, that's all the questions! Thanks so much for your help, Lil. Here, take this! It's from Garby!
I was supposed to meet him down by the docks. I was supposed to meet her at Councilwoman Asher's office. I don't need luck. I need a foolproof way to get rid of these rats. Why, hello, my dear. I'm just coming home from a long night tending the apple orchards. It's almost harvest season, and it couldn't come at a better time with the food shortage. Will you let me pass? I've got the first apples of what looks to be a very fruitful harvest. A little gardening humor, dear. I'm using them to make a delicious pie. It's my absolute favorite recipe from my absolute favorite cookbook. See? Oh man, I could sure go for a homemade apple pie. Well, my dear, the trick is the pie doesn't actually have any apples in it at all. Oh, well then what are the apples for? <laughs> I'm afraid that's a family secret. with you. This is no ordinary apple. It's a magic wishing apple. Wishing apple? Yes. One bite and all your wishes come true. Would you like to take it? Sure. Give me the apple. All right, dear. But don't eat it until you... Hmm? Oh, dear. Night, night, my darling. Why, hello, my dear. I'm just... It's almost hot. 
I've got the phone. I'm used. I don't see how it could be a fruitful harvest this year. There's a war raging outside our walls. That can't have a positive impact on the orchards. No, dear, you're right. The orchards were a bit sad. But still, a few good apples and we should be able to make pies for every grown-up in the sprawl. Well, seem harmless enough, but I would encourage you to make sure you know this person's true intentions before you admit her. Do your due diligence, guardsman. With all of these candies wrapped in foil, I can fatten up the children of the sprawl. Then, with these delicious magical apples, I'll put the fat little piggies to sleep and bake them into delicious pies! My glorious, glorious plans and my delicious pie. You'll just have to take it somewhere else, sister. All right, but before I go, I'll share a secret with you. This is no ordinary apple. It's a magic wishing apple. Wishing apple? Yes, one bite and all your wishes. No, thanks. I've got this thing about taking food from strangers. What a clever little girl you are. Guardsman who admitted Scary Tree Monster in our previous encounter. I am here today to attend a meeting at your puny and horribly decorated city hall. I was successful in my bid to represent the constituents of Darkwood Forest on the outskirts of Kaladar. You are now looking at me, Scary Tree Monster. I ran unopposed and threatened to stomp and thwomp any who entered the race against me. It was a landslide. No wonder you ran unopposed. I wouldn't want to get stomped and or thwomped either. Smart kid. This is my chain of office as mayor of Darkwood Forest. Covered in fancy jewelry is not how I ever pictured myself, but it helps me get in character as mayor. Certainly is very, very fancy. Then I think it suits you. You really think so? Yeah, sure. Monster humbly accepts entry into the sprawl. Oh well, that's very nice to hear it. To stomp and swamp any who oppose his demands.
zombies, eh? Not much use on the defensive front. They aren't as dangerous as they seem, you know. But if you send them away, it could act as a roadblock to tie up any enemy units looking to attack the walls head on. Deny them. Nicely, please. Sorry, you can't come in today. They're wandering off. Bye, zombies! Oh, hi. You must be Lil. I was told to come to these gates so that I could be looked after by you. <laughs> I'll be heading in now unless you need something else from me. secret project I'm working on. I don't think I should say much more about it. It's on the up and up, but I'm afraid it's also pretty hush-hush. Top secret? Whoa! And they sent you straight to me, eh? Yep, that sounds about right. I'm kind of the best guardsman on the force these days. That's not what I was told. What were you told? I was told that you were trustworthy if a bit that's not important. I was told you were trustworthy. Back in the old days, I would have done most of the digging myself, you know, with my own claws. Now we have so much equipment available to us, it speeds our digs up exponentially. Should be able to get this project done mighty quickly with these tools. Ah, oh, cool. A shovel. You really think it's cool? No, mole person. No, I don't. Keep your shovel. I'll be off to take care of this top secret assignment. Thanks, kid. I knew I was right to come to your gate. come to life is it the belt what no is it the knife and the hockey mask and the knife glove yes are you sure it's not the belt because I have a big job interview today and I don't want anything to ruin it it's not the belt your problem right there. Looks like you got a demonic hex on your heart. 
gonna be hard to get rid of that bugger. Seems to be written in a different language, so we're gonna need foreign parts to fix her. Oh, I don't want it removed. It gives me the unnatural strength and endless stamina I need to hunt down camp counselors in the woods at night. Did you just decode the hex on my heart without asking me? Oh, I guess I did. I'm sorry. That's a little presumptuous. I don't have to read it if you don't want me to. No, no, go ahead. I'm curious what it says myself. It translates to, If this hex is read out loud, the cursed shall return to whence they came. Wait, on second thought, no! Family son. Hey, I remember you. How have things been? Well, this has been one for the books. Got a call, there may or may not be something strange going on in your general vicinity. Who are you now? Ghost Finders. This is the official Ghostometer 3000, the latest in ghost finding technology. Takes a lot of power to use. This baby burns through power crystals at a pretty good clip. Cool, can I see it in action? If you have a power crystal you wanna use, I can show you how it works. Here, chuck this in your Ghostometer 3000. An actual mage grade power crystal? Whoa, these are kind of rare. Truthfully, I've never actually tried this before with one of these. What the heck? I say go for it. Okay, here goes. Oh my god, there's a ghost right behind you. Nice try, kid. You gotta wake up pretty early to get the jump on the ghost finders. Take a look for yourself if you don't believe me. Oh my god, a ghost! Ah, let's get out of here! My hour is almost come. Alas, poor ghost. Pity me not, but lend thy serious hearing Revenge my foul and most unnatural murder. Murder? Who done it? That villainous mage Tyronius Athanatos. How? With juice of cursed Hebanon in a vial, and in the porches of mine ears did pour the leprous distillment. He poured poison in your ear? That's a really weird way to kill someone. Remember me! Whoa, I knew that Tyronius was no good, but this is another level. It is imperative that you invite me in. The sun is coming up. Ah, 
After our last interaction, you know, the one where you badgered me with questions, but then let me in. I met my lovely bride, Myrna, who now waits for me with a group of our close friends and family to tie the knot in the Von Pyre crypt. Please, invite me in for eternal love's sake. It just sounds so creepy when you ask me to invite you in. Like every human instinct tells me not to. Just give me more to work with, Heine. Heinrich. Well, Lil, as you may or may not know, in addition to being a vampire, yes, I said it, I am a chiropractor for creatures of the night. We feel pain too. Good lumbar support is rare these days. I've got enough to go on now. Finally, I can still make it! Don't make me regret this, Heinrich. I invite you into the sprawl to get creepy married. You have just completely redeemed yourself, Lil. My love, I'm coming. Let me guess, we're finally gonna have the best friend taco party I've been dreaming about since level 5. Excuse me, what? You're not a part of this, Chuck. Lil, I have something important to discuss with you. Desi, I know we talked about this, but are you sure? Lil's done a lot for us. I am not having this conversation again. It is entirely inappropriate what you've been put through. That is why tomorrow will be your last guard shift. But we're at war. I've been doing a good job, I think. I feel like in lots of little ways I've been, I don't know, changing the course of fate? Desi, sure, she's a kid. And no, it's probably not fair. But she's proven she's more than meets the eye plenty of times. You were the reason I asked her to uncover the spy in the GLA. True as that may be, it's time she was relieved of her duty. Where is all of this coming from? I thought we were, you know, friends. <laughs> friends! With you? Someone who has been acting in her own self-interest against the Crown? Tyronius has told me the true nature of your character. Tyronius? He's nuts, and he gives off real main villain energy. Why would you believe anything that creepy ghoul factory has to say? Because he has accepted the role as my advisor. He's your fourth advisor? Fourth, and perhaps only, if the other three remain so utterly useless. You're gonna fire Stryker? I mean, I get shit Cannon Ash and Malcolm, but don't you think it's better to, you know, have multiple opinions when it comes to big decisions? Not anymore. And neither does Tyronius. He also thinks it is time for this little game to be over. These don't sound like your words. She's right, honey. They don't. Listen to me. I have made my decision. Tomorrow will be your final shift. We will not suffer those who speak against the Queen of the Sprawl. Desdemona, listen to yourself! I will not be spoken to like that by a filthy... I'm sorry. I'm under so much pressure. I need to lie down. I don't feel quite like myself right now, Lil. I'm sorry, but it's almost time for the end. Chuck... Take me home.
This doesn't make any sense. I have worked my ass off for you and the bloody sprawl. Not to mention the idiot triplet advisors. And now you're following that Tyronius asshole's advice? Fine, I quit. You can't quit. You were already relieved of duty. This sucks. I'm sorry, Lil. I'll try to talk to her. Good night. And the already spread thin guard force is calling it the worst night of, and I quote, creepy shit they've ever seen on St. Swithin's Day. And that's saying a lot. So if you see any of the few guards trying their darndest to keep things together inside our fair city walls, just go up and give them a hug, because Poe Buddy's nerfect. I'm sorry, there appears to be a typo in that last statement. 